Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's hair review, whatever. We're doing kind of like a little tutorial, I guess. I wanted to show you how I oil my hair. I've been doing this for a little while. Wanted to definitely get like the hang of it. So if you'd like to see the oils that I recommend, of course they're affordable and just kind of step-by-step -step, um, benefits, maybe not what to do, then please keep on watching. All right, so I know that you missed my yellow walls. I, I know you did, it's fine, it's fine. I am working right now, but, and excuse me, I got Botox yesterday for migraines, so I got some bruising. Um, anyway, so oiling your hair. Really what it is, is it's oiling your scalp. Um, there's some benefits to oiling your scalp and hair. It helps to um, protect the hair. Um, it helps to kind of also temporarily fill in um, those weak spots in the hair cuticle, um, promotes blood flow, um, all that kind of stuff. So definitely, um, some benefits. Here's the thing is I've done a lot of research on this. Um, I've also been trying this out. Like I said, some people recommend to leave oil on your hair overnight. Some people don't. Um, I definitely would not. If you let your hair soak too long in oil, it can actually weaken it. You know what I mean? You know, if you soak something in water for too long, soak in a pan, for example, you're loosening up all that crap, right? You're, you're soaking it to like get that stuff to lift. If you leave oil on your hair and scalp for too long, it can actually, uh, promote hair fallout, which I don't know about you, but I don't want that. So you definitely want to make sure that you're leaving it on for at the most few hours. I'm going to be leaving mine on for about two hours. Um, cause I'm going to be washing my hair. You also do not want to brush or comb your hair after oiling it, oiling it. You know, it's going to make the hair weaker temporarily. Just like when you like wash your hair and your hair's wet, you don't want to like really go in with your hairbrush or comb. It's going to like pull hair out. So make sure that your hair is brushed, combed, whatever before oiling. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and just do this. You also want to make sure your hair is not overly dirty or overly sweaty and not wet. Um, oil repels water, right? So if your hair is wet, it's not going to be able to penetrate your scalp, hair shaft, all that kind of stuff. So make sure you're doing it on dry hair. My hair is a little dirty. I wash my hair every other day, but it's not overly dirty. If it's overly dirty or sweaty, once again, that oil is not going to be able to penetrate. So just FYI. Just want to be really, really gentle with it. So I have two different oils. So a really, really good one is from Dollar Tree and it's from Softy. This is the thickening revitalizing repair formula. It repairs damage for thick, shiny, more manageable hair, replenishes moisture for stronger and healthier hair, all natural oil blend enriched with olive oil, shea butter, and vitamins A, D3, and E. This stuff's really good from Dollar Tree. Um, it's an ounce really, really good stuff. Actually, I have two bottles. This is the one I use the most when I'm oiling my scalp and hair. This one is from Shop Missé. This is two and a half fluid ounces, so a little bit more for your money, but this is the 99% natural Pro Growth Premium Hair Oil. Helps to thicken hair and promote healthier hair growth. This has like um, soybean, so, sorry, dry mouth, soybean oil, canola oil, fragrance, um, castor seed oil, sweet almond oil, olive fruit oil, lots of different oils. I think, um, I'm going to be using, hmm, I think I'm going to use this one today because I really like the softy one. Once again, Dollar Tree, um, really, really good stuff. Actually, I have two bottles of this. Okay. So make sure you shake and my hair is just kind of naturally partying the way it wants to. Don't over oil because it's going to, once again, too much of a good thing is a bad thing, right? But I'm just going to get my tip. And I'm just going to run it through my part. And then you just want to gently massage. You don't want to over massage because once again, it can cause hair breakage. So you just want to gently massage. I'm really working into that root and scalp. And then you're going to part it and reapply. Once again, I just went ahead and reparted. Just gonna run it all the way back and gently massage.
Okay, so as you can see, um, got my hair done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I've got some oil left on my feet, hands. I'm just gonna take a little bit, like three shakes. One, two, three, just a little bit. Rub it, and I'm just going to take it down the rest of my hair. Once again, we're not over oiling. We're just doing a little bit. All right, so now that my hair is oiled, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put it into a shower cap. Um, definitely don't recommend using like a turvy twist doing this, because once again, it can kind of cause hair breakage. You don't wanna twist, you don't wanna put it up in a bun, nothing like that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of gently plop it on top of my head, get my little cap and put it on. You could definitely use a blow dryer at this point to kind of warm it up, but doing this will help trap heat, natural heat from my head. So I'm just gonna go in and do this until I sh take a bath, shower, whatever. So there we go. All right, so it's a little after 10 o'clock and um, I'm gonna be getting in the tub. So this is what my hair's looking like. So it did absorb a lot of that oil. So I'm gonna be using a gentle shampoo and conditioner. I'm just gonna have sulfates in it because I do want to remove some of this oil, but that's why it needs to be gentle, if that makes sense. So a gentle sulfate shampoo to help kind of remove some of this oil. Oh man, that looks bad. Um, but yeah, still wanna keep some of the moisture from the oil. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so it's been a few hours. My hair is dry, and I just wanna show you how nice this looks. So smooth, definitely enhanced my natural texture. Um, I did air dry my hair per the use. Um, it feels really, really nice and soft, and like, might not look the smoothest, but it's like super, super soft. It is pretty smooth, very, very shiny, but, and my scalp feels great. Washed out very nicely using the Pert, because it is a clarifying shampoo, but it's a gentle clarifying shampoo. And then it just feels like really lightweight and like voluminous, which seems kind of contradictory since I put a whole bunch of oil on my scalp. But oiling your hair and scalp does have a lot of benefits. Just make sure you're doing your research. Um, because like I said, it can actually do more harm than good if you're not doing it the right way. If you're leaving it on for too long, if you're not using the right type of oil. But I really, really like this. I do like this, but I do think, honestly, I do like the softy better. Um, softy was easier to get out. I was able to get this out fine, but I don't know, I just felt like this one, I, yeah, I just feel like it's, it's better. Um, and like I said, Dollar Tree. So really, really good stuff. Um, this one's good too, but I think I definitely prefer the softy one. But yeah, I definitely like oiling my hair and scalp. I'll definitely continue to do it. Um, I do, I have done a hot oil treatment, like the same thing with the cap and the oil, but then I put my hood bonnet hair dryer on top for like half an hour. But really, really pretty results. Um, I think if you have a dry scalp, anything like that, I would definitely recommend it just because it is really, really nice. And then I have seen... To be fair, I've only been doing it for like a month, but I have seen a reduction in hair fallout, which for someone like me that does have thinning hair, it is nice seeing that reduction in hair fallout. So 
yeah, I really enjoy um, oiling my scalp and hair and I do feel like it's making a difference. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to see how it rolls when summer hits and it's like really, really warm. I'm super, super hot and sweaty, but so far I am enjoying it. But there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's hair care review. Uh, tutorial, whatever you want to call it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that jazz. Let me know down below in the comments, down below, um, if you oil your hair and scalp, what is your favorite oil to use? I'd love to know down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week, all about budget beauty. A lot of the times it is about physical beauty, but I also do like inner beauty, your home, your wallet, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe. But I appreciate you stopping by. Another video of Shit Start on a Plane here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's. But sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'll see y'all here in just a sec.